YouTube! What's going on, guys? It's your boy Untapped Juice here with the juice back with another book, book, brrr, bow, banger video, man. Today's video, I'll be telling you guys and showing you guys this newly insane, glitchy, green light district jump shot. Psych! I lied. Aww. I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to green more consistently on NBA 2K22, man. But without further ado, let's get straight to the video, man. Let's go. Boy, I got the juice. I got the juice. Boy, I got the juice. Boy, I got the juice. I got the juice. Boy, I got the juice. I said I got the juice. But look, man. Okay, so we're starting the video. You guys know the vibes. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. And let's get the video up to 30 likes. If you guys can do that, bro, I promise you, you'll be the best person on this earth, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know the motto. We spread love and positivity over here on the channel. And let me go ahead and get you guys right with it. So step number one. Go to the Gatorade facility and do your workout i know it's a pain in the butt that you have to sit there for two minutes and train and get your your extra boost that you'll need to help you green i know i know i know it's just terrible right it's just terrible i would never it takes so much time out my day and it's not like it's not gonna make me better at the game or anything like that it just makes me i don't know it's, it's lazy go to the gatorade facility go get your stuff man go get right go get right come on now that's simple Come on, that's law right there. Y'all got to make sure y'all go to y'all Gatorade facility and get the extra boost because little do you know, actually having stamina actually brightens your green window and makes it a lot bigger than what it's supposed to be because you have stamina to shoot. Step number two. All right. Look, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this for all the people in the back. All right. I'm going to say this for all the people in the back. I, who the fuck you think you talking to? If you do not buy Boost, what is your problem? Literally, seriously. Buy Boost, it only, I don't know. I, I guess it doesn't help you, and that's why you guys don't want to go do it. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know. You tell me. But buying Boost is only going to help you improve your, your game. It's, it's just going to help you. Why? Is somebody shunning you for buying boost and using boost? Show me all you want. I'm winning. What, what what's the issue? Why why are you not doing that? You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much it. That's self-explanatory. You should always have a good amount of boost before you get on the spot. Make sure you got that boost. Before you decide, hey, let me go to the wreck. Hey, let me just play this random game. Make sure you got boost, bro. If you don't got this boost, bro, you want to have this whole thing feel. Not, I'm, okay, so turbo and Gatorade boost, that's a little bit different. The only one you should really be buying is the quench thirst or the super shake. But other than that, everything else you need. You know what I'm saying? Jump shot boost, need it. <laughs> need it. You need that. And you have your weekly workout done, you definitely need that. So that's step number one and two. Step number three, y'all, it's probably the most easiest step and most common sense step go to the Gatorade rental course or go anywhere and practice your shot if you are missing especially on a game like this where it's super easy to shoot and you continue to miss please make sure you sat there and practice all right make sure that you sat there and practice the shot and you know it off the back of your hand even even now and then I know when I try a new jump shot I like to put up a couple shots with the shot before I even decide to um before i even decide to hop on the court or do anything of that nature all right and that's just like i said it's law you just gotta make sure that you do it and it's, at the end of the day it's gonna become muscle memory you know what i'm saying you should be able to look at your your shot and know where's off at if you're early or late without the feedback you feel what i'm saying and, and like i said it's law it, it's just gonna come second nature at that point for you guys Step number four also has to deal with your jump shot. Shoot with that meter off. Like I said, you're in the Gatorade facility. You're practicing your shot. 
shoot with your meter off. You feel what I'm saying? If you got your meter on, exactly what I just did here. Look, it, I mean, it's second nature for me, so I guess I'm a little bit biased. But if it's a new shot and you're not that good at shooting, try it with your get a couple shots with your meter on, and then as soon as you get used to the the motion of your shot, turn your meter off. Because all it does, again, it gives you a boost to your shot. So it opens up your green window even more, fellas. Let's go. What what we got going on? You feel what I'm saying? Just turn the meter off. That's all you have to do is that simple. It, it really is. If you guys don't know how to turn your meter off, this is what you do. You are going to go to your settings. Go to your settings. Controller settings and meter off you can have it on free throw only if you're running wreck but meter off that's all you need to do this i don't know I don't, I don't understand it's really easy like it's not that hard um once your meter's off okay take his couple shots again take those same shots that you was taking before with your meter on in the gatorade facility and take your meter off and take those same shots and see if you know the timing for your shot it's really easy dog and it's going to give you that boost, no matter if your meter's on in-game or outside the game. It's going to give you that boost because your meter is off. So, yes, please, turn that meter off. It gives you insane boost. All right. Step number five, and again, this is probably one of the most important steps out of the bunch. And make sure that you're not, you know, you're listening. Make sure you're listening to everything. Incorporate everything that I'm saying to you, all right? Step number five is... Have a good jump shot on, bro. And I'm not talking about go to YouTube with you, even though I do got a YouTube video dealing with a big man jump shot and a guard jump shot. If you guys need one, they're both money, cash, they grass, money, green, 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 green. You know what I'm saying? But make sure that you have a good jump shot, a jump shot that works for you. And what I mean by that, not just going in there and picking your own base, doing whatever looks good to you, because whatever looks good, it might not actually be good in game. Please use the recommended bases like 98 d wade if you're a big man i know uh release 107 is really good this year right now for green windows make sure you're using something that has that good green window percentage and you blend it well now you're releasing your release one and two that's not going to matter to you that's all for your personal um visuals it's everything about your shot comes straight from your base so all those visuals come straight from your base so make sure you have on a good base to where you can have a good decent green window all right and that's basically it if you guys want me to go more in depth in uh the jump shots and greening for that matter let me know in the comment section below like i said let's get the video up to 30 likes you know what i'm saying and without further ado it's your boy untap juice and we tapping out man peace